Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little tutorial on how to achieve beach waves on short hair. And if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Alrighty, so to start off, it's super, super important to make sure you put heat protectant on your hair. Whether if it's you put heat protectant on before you blow dry it and then curl, or if you're doing like a second day, third day, make sure you're, at, you're doing heat protectant. It's going to save your hair. Um, in the future and just help with breakage and heat damage. The product I'm using on her hair is from Orbe and it's the Remystify. This is really good because this product can um, hold up to 450 heat, which is really nice. So to start off, I'm sectioning her hair and I'm doing the front first. You can do the back first or whatever your preference is. Um, and I like to use a one inch curling iron for her um, short hair. Um, usually for long hair clients, I like to use one and a quarter, but one inch is perfect for her hair length. And if you're more comfortable using a wand, you can still achieve the same look with a wand. Um, it's just preference and whatever is easier for you. If the curling iron is easy for you, you can do that. Or if the wand is easier for you, you can also do that. Or even if you can curl with a flat iron, you can still achieve the same look. So honestly, it's just preference. And how I like to achieve the beach wave is to curl the hair starting from the top and then work your way down and do not curl your ends. You want to keep those ends out because that's what's going to achieve like that effortless beachy wave towards the end. And if you accidentally end up do curling the ends a little bit, you can just use your curling iron or flat iron and just kind of um, flatten the ends. As far as curling your hair in which direction, I always like to do the front of the hair um, going backwards, like away from your face. And then when you start curling your hair from the back, you can um, go forward and backwards. So once I'm done curling a section, I like to go in with a really strong hairspray. The one I'm using is from Orbe and it's called Super Fine Strong. It is the best hairspray in the entire world, I promise you. I've tried high-end, I've tried drugstore, and this one is by far like my favorite. So once you start curling the underneath, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you have some sort of bend to the hair and just to make sure the ends are straight, you'll be fine, I promise. Um, but then as you start moving more upwards, um, just make sure you're alternating between forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards and just to make sure those ends are nice and straight. Also, if you guys want the curls to last a super long time, make sure you're doing it on dirty hair, whether it's second day, third day. If you guys do it when it's freshly clean, the curls are gonna drop a little bit more.
as you guys can see in the front, I am curling away from the face every single section just so it's a lot more flattering for her. As you can see, I didn't really touch them. I like to wait towards the end to kind of brush them with my fingers. And I like to use the Orbe Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. I like this instead of an oil because it doesn't leave your hair super greasy or oily. It just kind of smooths all the flyaways, adds a little bit of shine. The last product I'm using is the Orbe Beach Spray. And I like to use this instead of the texturizing spray, which is really, really popular just because this one has a little bit of shine to it and she likes her beach waves um, a little bit more like lived in and not so matte and dry like the texturizing spray would be so this is what it should look like all finished it's so pretty thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time